My name is David Simmons. I'm Principal Developer Advocate at Comunda, and we do business process management. Um, but I've been doing other things like IoT and databases for years before this. So. For years? How years. Long? I was at Sun Microsystems for 15 years, and then I've been at a couple of database companies for about five or 10 years after that. So I've been doing this for a while. That's actually one of the nice things is that it's really fairly simple to do to build a business process. You think about what all what steps you have to, to implement in the business process, and then you can just drag and drop the elements to build that and connect them together. And in our modeler, once you build the model, that model is actually directly executable. So it's not just a picture, it's actually executable model that you can then run that model and see what happens. It does, and it's actually it actually is easy. It's kind of scary when you do it because you think of, the hard part is thinking up all the steps that are involved because most people don't think through all the steps of how things happen. And I found it actually really interesting to just model things, whether I'm gonna run them as processes or not, because it gives me a good idea of what all the steps are and where things can go wrong and what different tracks things can take. And you can model all of that so you can see, here's the whole process and here's where I have to make decisions and where things can go based on those decisions. And then when you're done doing that, it turns out that's an executable model as well. So, and I mentioned this during the talk I gave, uh, something like 70% of IoT projects never come to completion because businesses often don't get the benefit from them because they're difficult to manage. One of the things about business process management is that you can put another layer on top that it doesn't require somebody to write code for the IoT devices. Right, So you can change how those devices work based on business rules. And so a business line manager can say, no, no, I want this to keep the temperature between this, this amount. And a year later, well, that was costing us a lot of money. So we wanna, we wanna change that. And they don't have to go write code for those devices. They can just change the business rule. And that doesn't require somebody that, has, that knows how to write code. So it can make IoT projects much more manageable because you don't need somebody highly technical to manage them. You need somebody with an understanding of what the business process is. And that's sort of the promise of IoT all along is to use it for business processes, to make business work better. And now if you can manage that without having to have some, an engineer going around and touching all the devices and writing code all the time, it's much more cost effective. I love it. I, that's why I keep coming back. This is, uh, well, I guess this is only my second year, but we had a couple of years in there where we won't talk about them because it was awful. Um, but I like doing workshops here and giving talks here because it's a fairly small conference with a lot of really dedicated developers. So, and those are my people, you know, the people who actually are developing things. Uh, meet as many people as you can. This is a, a great conference full of real developers and not a lot of marketers and, and things like that. And so it's a good opportunity to meet people that are also doing development at other companies and see where your interests cross and where you can work together. Thank you.